last mile smoothly and steadily. After four and a half hours of racing, his car is almost a year old. Fireball Roberts in a Chevrolet wins the Southern 500. One lap to go. Roberts rounds the track for the last time as the crowd comes to its feet, watching racing history as it is made. There's the checkered flag. Fireball Roberts driving Ford number 22 wins the 14th Southern 500 in record time. 500 miles in three hours, 51 minutes. It will take another 500 mile race without a caution flag to top this amazing speed. Marvin Patch finishes second, a brave and brilliant race behind him. It just wasn't our day, he said. With a little luck, we could have won. Roberts rolls his Ford to the winner's circle. Roberts is tired, battered, but a winner. There is your card in your picture. White flag is out. There is one to go. And Dale Earnhardt closes up to within five car lengths at the finish here in Richmond. Back straight away. There's Bobby Allison in front. Here's Earnhardt. One last stab. Digs deep. Charges. Here they come on a turn four. Earnhardt is coming to the inside. He's four car lengths back. Allison takes the checkered flag. The third place car is on pit road. Not on pit. The savvy and experience of the die guard racing crew. One lap to go. And the very contemporary thinking of young Gary Nelson. What a tough combination. The old, the new, and uh, the in-between. <laughs> But it all results in a super fast race car and a super fast race driver. And right now, he's got it all. All he's got to do is run a couple of more corners, and it's his. The Dover 500 victory is in his back pocket. Bobby Hillen, Jr., the rookie, is going a little bit wide, but he makes it past. Bobby Allison takes the checkered flag. He's a winner. Because there is the white flag from starter Harold Kinder. And next trip by Bobby Allison will pocket the lion's share of the half million dollar purse for this silver anniversary world 600. Yes, and I'll tell you, that, that's a long laugh, but I'll guarantee he's smiling right now. And he'll be another one of the drivers who said he won this race three times. He lapsed by second generation driver Randy Baker. Up in turns three and four, the Miller High Life Buick comes off the fourth corner, addresses itself to the starting line, and there's the checkered flag, Bobby Allison joined Buddy Baker and David Pearson as the only three-time winners of the world. Harold Kinder, and we've got one more lap to go on this 2.66-mile flyover here at Talladega, and the winner of the Winston 500 is very much up in the air at this point. Let's watch the move through turn number two now. Bobby Allison stretches it out just a little bit over Dale Earnhardt. They go on to the back stretch. It is still Earnhardt staying in second position and Baker in third. Let's see if Dale Earnhardt will make the move to the inside and slingshot at the end of the back stretch going into turn number three. Yes, he does. He moves alongside Bobby Allison and Dale Earnhardt takes Allison high in turn number four. They're still side by side as they come by turn number four. They're on to the trioval and Bobby Allison still has the lead. I don't think Dale Earnhardt is going to do it. It appears as if, yes, Bobby Allison wins the Winston 500. Now back on the lead lap, see, so that he did not show up on the board, but he has been very much a factor in this whole thing. The leader right now is Ken Schrader. White flag is out. They're in the final lap. Number 90, Ken Schrader. Dave Marcus could not hold him off as Schrader took the uh, hard route.
going down low like that and battling through the low lane. They've got Bobby Allison posted uh, as winning the race right now. I thought so, Keith. I thought he was only one lap down. Well, that's a complete redo, Mike. That has to be a redo right there. Look, 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 look. Car number 90 is turning and flipping, going into the wall, and that takes out at least three other cars. He looked like a tire might have blown as they came down for the finish. Ward Burton with a long jump on the field. White flag for the young driver from South Boston, Virginia. 33 years old in the MBNA Pontiac. Rusty Wallace in second. Earnhardt and Sterling Marlin got together in turn two. They're okay. Off turn four for Bill and Gail Davis, for Chris Hussey, that MBNA Pontiac team. Ward Burton scores his first Winston Cup win. And out of turn four, Darrell Waltrip gets hard into the wall. And the rest of the field gets by. He made contact, perhaps, with Jeff Gordon. Four. Jimmy Howell waves the white flag. Burton goes by. Jerry goes by. Final lap at Darlington Raceway. 1.9 second lead that time by. And as Ned said, a lot, a lot of traffic in front of Ward Burton. But what he needs to do is let Bill Elliott pass him by, which he is doing. Slower down. He's got it under control. All he's got to do is get that thing back to start finish line. I hope those cars don't wreck in front of him when he gets caught up in it. 15 car lengths out of turn four. Here comes Jarrett. 12 car lengths. But he will not have enough time. It's 10 car lengths. But Ward Burton will take the victory at Darlington. His first since I'm on the back of Junior. Oh, Jeremy Mayfield in the fence. Off of turn four. Brush the wall. You got a 12 and look at the traffic jam behind him. And that leaves Ward Burton in the clear because Bob. Oh, man. Big trouble in turn one. Big wreck in one. Keep coming. Keep coming. Ward Burton Brush racing the back to the caution four. flag and a win in the Southern 500. Dale Jr. was in the wreck. Dave Blaney was in the wreck. Most everybody else is driven away. It's Gordon racing Bobby Levine for second behind Ward Burton, who comes to the caution and white flags and wins the Southern 500. One and two will be cleared. Here comes Dale Jarrett looking outside for third. Can't get it done. Whoa! He bounces off Mark Martin. Jarrett is crashing with a final lap. Everybody gets by him okay. Elliot Sadler in the 21, the Wood Brothers car, left to try and chase Ward Burton to the checkered flag. And if Elliot Sadler was shaking, finishing third in the Pepsi 400, just imagine what that young man is going through now, about to finish second in the Daytona 500. About ready to faint, I'm telling you. Eighth two times is his best previous finish in the 500. Now in his eighth try at the Great American Race, it's going to be Ward Burton driving his Dodge to victory lane. On, Checker Come flag on. is up, and Ward Burton is going to win the 44th Daytona 500. Bill Davis Racing and Ward Burton have just won the Great American Race. Wow. He's looking at that fuel pressure gauge right now, BP. I'm sure he is. White flag. One more mile for Ward Burton. 13 prior races here in New Hampshire. He's only finished in the top 10 once. It's not been a good track for him. Tommy Baldwin, his crew chief from Long Island, considers this his home racetrack. Even though Pocono's a little closer, he said, I did a lot of my racing and established my career here. This will be a huge win for him. All yours, all yours, bring it on. You're the man! You're the man! <laughs> there as you can probably tell Ward Burton wins the New England three. Right, three flag he just pulled to the flag. outside he gave Jeff plenty of room I would have never believed when they dropped the green flag on this race that these two guys would be in the top That's three right, yeah these two that we're watching right here after listening 15 to Jeff laps Gordon. ago look like I oh said looking back at the at the at the monitor Jeff Gordon was way Wait. back in the field yeah and complaining the whole time yeah. about not being able to turn into the corner and, and as you said a minute ago he was one of the fastest cars on the racetrack here towards the end and he's about a second faster than uh, Kurt Busch is right now he just doesn't have a time you know I, I think this speaks volumes for this we're on the final lap here I think this speaks volumes for Carl too 
he's focused on winning this championship. He had an opportunity to leave. He decided he would stay and work on this thing. Still didn't get it the way he wanted it, but he's driven it today. I think he'll be the real way happy a, with this. Yeah, match. the way a championship yeah. driver should drive, could drive a car. And he knows this is a big statement to the other guys. If I stick around and stay here, you're going to have to think about it. Another name you may add to the list of those who are thinking championship, the driver who has been so consistent the last few weeks, Kurt Busch and the program incredible. really on the rise at Team Penske. Incredible. So much was made out of Kurt Busch and, and things that went on early in the year, things that went on on the radio, things that went on with, and within that team. But you can say what you want to. He's passionate about driving a race car. He got those people up off their butt. And here he's getting ready to win. Decker, this time. Three poles in a row. Should have had it. Kurt Busch a winner at Infineon. First of 2011. Incredible. Now, looks like he's going to get this victory. One to go. One more mile, buddy. The only driver in the top ten in the championship standings all season long. That man, Kurt Busch. Just the one win on the road course at Sonoma. But steady, solid. After finishing 22nd in New Hampshire a week ago to lose ground in the championship, they're going to gain it all back with a win on the Monster Mile today. Kurt Busch wins at Dover. One more lap for Logano and Harvick. Does Logano have enough fuel? Roger Penske headquartered in Detroit, not far down the road. Always a huge, important race for the captain. He used to own this racetrack. For Joey Logano, a win that could make all the difference between getting into the championship and having a chance or not. Half a lap to go. Well, I tell you what, as a driver, he's done a terrific job here today of saving enough fuel and having the fastest car here this weekend. He started first. He's going to finish first. It wasn't that simple in between, but Joey Logano takes the checkered flag at Michigan. He looks to the outside. He's going to be strong off two, off four here. Got to run, got to run. He's looking, he's looking. The Down to the there inside over. comes Logano. Gordon leads at the line. Logano into turn one, takes it back. Yep, those four tires against two. That's pretty hard to overcome. They've got a gap on Vickers. Biffle, Biffle racing for third. Then Kyle Busch. Here uh -oh. comes Kyle oh, Larson. Boy. Oh, boy, here we go, into turn three. Three oh. wide. And Larson on the bottom chasing Kyle Busch. It's the Kyle and Kyle show behind Logano and Gordon. Connecticut, go Huskies, Joey Logano wins. <laughs> Now, Logano has just set sail. I mean, he's out there all by himself. White flag in the air. One to go. Joey Logano, eight-tenths of a second ahead of Jeff Gordon, stretches it out. After the final restart and all the shuffling was done, Logano, the kid from Connecticut, comes from fourth on the final restart, and he is going to win the Battle of Richmond. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Better right hurry. White flag. Final lap here at Bristol. Brad's going to try it. Not going to make it stick. Checkered flag and a win at Bristol to Joey Logano in the night race. Murray's. He's back out, but limping around down at the bottom of the racetrack. Got the white flag. One lap to go. Good exit. So good by five. Final corner for Joey Logano. All top five finishes in the first three races of the chase, and he opens the contender round with a victory and a pass through on. Joey Logano wins it at Kansas. You guys did a pass! Woo! Back in the pack, the leader's going to make it under the wide under green. Logano, Harvick, Earnhardt, Boyer, last lap. Guess what? The race is getting ready to start off turn two. 
It's all on from there on. Car smoking back of the field, drops back out of play. Three wide. Big cluster coming off turn number four. Smoke, oh, man. trouble, way in the back, but here come the leaders. The question is, are they going to throw the yellow or are they going to let them race back? Seven, eight car pile up in the back straight away. Caution is out. Caution is out. Get, throw it to Gano. Just keep coming. Just stay on the gas. Back straight away. Stay on the gas. Coming to easy here. They say, they say roll out of the throttle. It's over, boys. Coming it's over. The, Middletown, Connecticut's Joey Logano wins the Daytona 500. Daytona 500, guys! <laughs> Hell yeah! Wow. Stretch. The white flag in the air. Kevin Harvick, he needs two and a half miles of fuel to get all the way back around. And the 22 way out of the turn as the 32 goes sliding out that was Boris said in the 32 out in turn number one. That's going to save the pressure from the 22 to the four. Now the four only really needs to worry about his fuel. Just back it up. Yeah, Let's fuel at the end of the back here. Got plenty of room behind him. Save some fuel. Rodney Childers, he's not done Mark. chiefing yet. Save a little gas. We have some gap out the back. Kevin Harvick through the bus stop. Now he's got five, six, and seven Mark, in front of him. Does he have enough fuel to get there? That will be the question. The elevation changed from five, six to seven. Very minimal. Adam turned five, headed to six. Does he have enough fuel to get home? He's offline. That tells me he's out he's of out. gas. He's, he's out. out of gas. Out. Coming to the left. Here comes the 22 of Joey Logano. Trying to stay in front. He just he gets through six. He runs out of fuel. Here comes the 22. Joey Logano racing him as they come out of seven. Joey Logano comes onto the front stretch. Logano's going to win at the Glen. Now, where does the four finish? He's got to cross across the line, it looks like. One more lap for Bristol. The four working the high line, trying to keep the momentum up. They've got to get through three and four one more time. As they come out of turn number four. Joey Logano tries to hang on. He will. He wins at Bristol. Yeah, baby. Bristol again. Get your top. The white flag will be displayed. One more time around the show. White flag. A mile and a half. And he punches his ticket into round three. Fuel not an issue. Cars in front of him, not an issue. And Kevin Harvick not getting any bigger in his mirror. Coming out of turn number four, Joey Logano will win for the first time at Charlotte and advance to round three. Hell of a job, guys. Awesome. What a car. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Four. Across the start finish line. White flag in the air. One more time around. Final lap from Kansas. Joe Logano with 12 career wins. His 12th came a week ago. It solidified his position in round three. Now playing defense, making sure someone else doesn't lock their way in round three. Coming out of turn four, Logano's going to win again at Kansas. Hey guys, two in a row. That's how we do it. Trying to get back up to speed. Caution comes out. Now the question is, who was stay, in stay front? Stay in front of them. Stay in front of them. Stay in front of them. You heard him say, stay in front of them. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Castle gets to pit road. No issue there. Logano, eight tenths of a second. Over Chase Elliott. Logano looking for his first win of the year. Elliott and Kyle Larson, their first Sprint Cup win ever. Logano, Mike, from the pole, which uh, just that's a max points, as they say. 
Yeah, this team, this driver's done an excellent job putting himself in this position to get this first win of the season. Joey Logano and Roger Penske's Ford becomes the 10th different winner this year. And could advance to the round of eight. White flag in the air. One more time around. You mentioned it, Steve. The 11 cars in there running in third. He's in the bottom lane. Austin Dillon, he just moved to the bottom lane. He's way back in 12, but he went to the bottom. Let's see which lane moves forward. How aggressive does Brian Scott be? How can how aggressive can he be trying to win his first race? A huge gap between the 22 and the 44 as they enter turn three for the final time. Up the racetrack, the 22 goes, blocking the 44. Coming out of turn four, a long ways back to the checkered flag. Three and four wide, fighting for position. Joey Logano through the tri-oval. Logano wins at Talladega. Logano, one lap to go at Phoenix. One more time around. Joey Logano, Kyle Busch looking to advance to the championship four. Down the back stretch for the final time. Joey Logano comes to Phoenix, wanting to make sure he gets to the championship four. He does it with a win. Coming out of four, Logano wins at Phoenix. White flag waves, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Still, Harvick, Stenhouse, side by side. McMurray right with them. Joey Logano, eight car lengths ahead of Keselowski, who stuffs it into turn three, cuts it down to five car lengths, but off turn four. Joey Logano has his eight. Give a run. White flag waves, one lap. Yeah, with Almirola. He's looking, and Almirola is a lot, Almirola's a lot of help. I just don't think they can get to the front, though. Yeah, Stenhouse, Elliott, Almirola, Newman on the outside. Mike, I just think that's going to stack everybody up side by side by side. That's what Logano wants to see. If the 41 can get stacked back up to the front bumper, the 17, he might be able to get a run on the 22. And here comes yeah. Reagan on the inside. I'll get you to the top five. Follow me. Kurt's going to have to get back there. I just don't think he's going to be able to do it if he's that close to the 22. Here comes a little bit of a push from the 17. Is it going to be enough? The race is on, though. The start line way down here. Everybody on their feet. Logano is going to go top to bottom to keep Kurt Busch at bay. And Joey Logano wins Talladega. Kurt Busch, Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick, Ricky Stenhouse, the top five. As they come up the turn, he'll see the white flag That's one right, more time right, around. Martin Truex Jr. on the inside, looking for his first short track win, as well as a trip to Miami to try to defend his championship. The 2017 champion, will he get the bumper? Yes, he does. Here comes Legato. Legato on the inside, a drag race. They're sideways, and it's going to be Legato getting the win. Joey Legato fighting back. Miami, baby. Truex not happy. Great job, buddy. This time by, White it's one right lap here. to go, presented by Credit One Bank. One lap away from his first Cup Series championship. Joey Legato at 28 years old. Fulfilling a dream. No threat, man. One six still, throw one's ahead. No pressure, no pressure at all. TJ Majors giving him the information. No pressure at all. Well, he has risen well above the pressure as he comes out of turn number four to claim his first ever Cup Series championship. It's Joey Logano who wins. You're the man. You are the man when it comes down to it.
tears already flowing for Joey Logano equally and give him the best possible opportunity to win. And there's the white flag with one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Now Brad has a win here with a last lap pass. Oh, big run here coming off of turn two. Man, he is. He's up high and got a nice run down the back straightaway. Not sure it's too little too late, but I think he's going to be right there at the back bumper. Kozlowski to the bottom looking. Nose to tail off turn four. So close. Wow. He was there. Joey Logano scores his first win of the season in his championship defense. The Pennzoil Ford wins the Pennzoil 400. First win of the year. We're going to take the white flag under green. Next flag ends the race. It's going to get ugly. I think it's going to get big and ugly down here in turn three or turn two. Oh, dang, that's turn one. <laughs> that turned down there, that one. <laughs> Keselowski to the inside on Suarez. And the front three get away. It's going to be Logano, Kurt Busch, or Martin Truex. I am just incredibly impressed with the 22 of Logano, Todd Gordon, that whole team. I mean, they have done everything right today, including that last restart. Started from the pole, got the number one pit stall, and coming to the line, I'd say that he's probably going to take home the victory. Joey Logano by two car lengths over Kurt Busch and Martin Truex. Hit that, guys. Hell yeah. Perfect job, everybody. Way to execute a race. Hell yeah. He's right. For the white flag from Credit One Bank. Boy, tons of contact. Trouble. William Byron backing up through the field. There was contact among several drivers, and we are under caution. The race is not over. I think that tire blew on oh, the 12 of Blaney with heavy clear. contact and damage. Yeah. I think maybe the leader had seen the white flag. And race control has confirmed that since the leader saw the white flag under green, the next Gano up high, white flag. Next flag ends the race. Hey, we've already seen Kevin Harvick not afraid to put the bumper to somebody to move him. Will he do that if he gets to the 22 of Logano? Oh, he's trying. He was within a foot there between corners, three, one and two. One last chance at it as he dives into turn three. I think he's a little too far back. Joey got a great launch off turn two. He's got Harvick by two car lengths, and he's looking at the finish line. Second win of the season for Joey Logano. Almost into the wall. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Did Logano get out too far? Can Harvick reel him back in? To the bottom of the racetrack he goes through one and two. Logano's going to have a great run down the back straightaway. Two lap cars here in front of him. He's going to have to contend with. Where does he go? Harvick stays up high. Also lap traffic in front of him. Through three and four for the final time. Joey Logano's going to win again in 2020. This time, Kansas. Secure. The championship four for Joey Logano was to see that side by side battle in his mirror. White flag. I think a right front flat on Mark Truex Jr. Wow, how about the job, Ricky Stenhouse Jr.? What a great job. Second place right here. It's going to be an awesome finish for them. Close as he can get to Joey Logano. Stenhouse sends it in, but Logano is going to win the dirt race at Bristol. How about that? Oh, Joey Logano. Unreal. I got to tell you, I mean, guys. Oh, it's pretty loose. Seven behind. Seven to the white. It's the last lap. Oh, he is oh, oh, into the wall. There you oh, go. Logano goes by. Wow. White flag. Do you One think lap that was to go. Sponsored run? by Credit White One flag. Bank. Wow. Ah. Holy. You saw it coming. That 24 was loose. He was having to back up the corner a little bit, but man, he got hit pretty hard there. The 22 didn't back the corner back up. No. Nope. He got the fencher. Eight ahead of Reddick. Okay. Tyler Reddick to second, Byron to third, Haley, Harvick, Elliott, Bell, McDowell, Stenhouse. I told you, every time I talk about a guy, I jinx him. 
I knew it. What do you say? Joey Logano. Nice job. 28th career win. Logano, from the pole to the checkered flag, captures the Goodyear 400. Well, I'm proud of Chase. He came home from the back to the top five. So Grinding that, that one that. out. Both of them, the four of Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott coming from the back. Accomplished. Drives it way off into the corner. Logano needs it. Oh, he slid way up the track. Crossover coming. And here comes Blaney. And he's got a pusher right behind him. Uh, oh, and sideways Kurt, is Bush. Yeah. Excuse me, Kyle's sideways loose. One lap to go. The race is official. Logano well out front of Kyle Busch. The race is for third. Kurt Busch and Blaney. Behind them, Ross Chastain three wide. Nobody surprised. How about that restart? You knew it was going to be wild. Joey Logano. Those two were going for it. Joey did exactly what he needed to do. Off turn four. Joey Logano. Yeah. Nice it, job, dude. The Penske and Ford Louisiana, Mustang. Baby. A winner in St. Louis. Louisiana, baby. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> 29th career win for Logano. 29th on the all-time list. Now, one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. And the gap between one and two, a half a second. Joey Logano, right in the middle of the racetrack for the final time. And the gap staying the same. Chastain doesn't have anything for Logano. Joey Logano coming in. He was second in the rankings in this round of eight. But a win here. Welcome to the championship Let's four. Let's get the championship, baby. Let's get one. Good job. This time by, one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. His closest competitor for the race win is Ryan Blaney, a teammate. That teammate has been hungry all year long. But it looks like he's going to have to stay hungry going to 2023 because Logano has been the class of the field all day long. The 32-year-old, Joey Logano, he's already built a Hall of Fame career. Today, he etches his name in stone as one of the few to capture multiple championships. Logano is a two-time NASCAR yeah. Cup Series champion. Good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Great drive. Way to hang it there. Proud of you. Great job, guys. Great job down there, everybody. That was Roger.